Hi, this is uh, David Overholt. I'm with DWD Technology Group in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And today I'd like to show you some of the uh, new features and ways you can change your screen backgrounds, your the look and feel of Sage 100 uh, if you are using Sage 100C version. Um, you you will need to have switched from a, a normal one or purchased the C version. You can contact your reseller if you have questions about how to do that. Um, so anyways, I'd like to go ahead and get started and show you some of the new and exciting features in Sage 100C. Um, right now, the what you're looking at is uh, version 2016, Sage 100, and it is the C version. But at this point, I have it set to be and look like the classic mode. So everything looks uh, the same. If you've been using Sage 100 for years, uh, you'll see that my screens are uh, pretty much normal. That one, I have the background changed a little bit on it. Uh, if I go into a different company code, I go into customer query there. You'll see this is this is the standard Sage 100 view that you always see. Uh, so if you have switched or purchased Sage 100 C version, uh, we have some new features. Uh, if I go into Library Master, Main, and Theme Maintenance, this is a new option on the menu. Sage has provided us with three out of the box. We can't delete or modify any of these, but we have classic, uh, a standard blue theme, and a standard green theme. Uh, classic is what I, I've been showing you so far. Um, with standard, uh, there are a few change. Standard blue, there are a few changes. Uh, with standard green, there are a couple other changes. Specifically, they've changed the tab color to be uh, a green color of whatever tab you have highlighted. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create my own so I can kind of go through all these different options with you. So I'm just going to call this demo. Um, first of all, you'll notice we can actually change the, the font that we're seeing things in. I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, the icon set, you can go classic or green. I'll kind of show you what that comes along with. Uh, as in prior versions of Sage, we can change the background color or just the frame around the background. Um, we'll go ahead and set a green, light green frame. I don't like things to be too obnoxious, so yeah, that looks decent. So that's my background frame. And again, I'm creating a theme at this point. Um, I can change the font color on the tabs. On these, I kind of like to have something that kind of pops out a little bit. So I'm going to set that to red. Uh, I can change the colors of the buttons. Um, so let's see, we've got a green background. Uh, maybe a light blue on the primary buttons. Uh, and then if you want the secondary buttons, we'll give, give them a different color, mostly just to, so you can tell what the difference is between a primary and a secondary button is. Uh, another thing we can do is in the grids, that would be like in your data entry grids, uh, sales order data entry, general ledger, uh, journal entries, um, we can adjust the row height a little bit. We can either make it condensed so we get more lines on every page. That might be important to some people that they can see more. Uh, or we can do expanded, which makes it a little bigger and might make the font a little easier to read. Um, I think I'll go with condensed for now. So uh, at this point, all I've done is created a theme. I can check it and make it my default theme. Um, Go ahead and do that. Uh, now in company maintenance, 
whereas before we just had um, different background. Now you can see uh, I've already got my new theme. Uh, there's my, my red that I set for whatever tab I have highlighted. So I can go in company by company then. Because I set this as default, right now all the companies are going to have this. So I'm going to go back to theme maintenance. Find my demo and not make that default. So that does my classic default because that's what it was before. So if I go into company maintenance. Now my screen looks like it always has. So if I go to, let's say, company code XYZ, go over here to themes, I can pick the theme that I want to see. So I'm going to select my demo. Um, just for whatever it's worth, enable company specific background color. That only becomes highlighted if I'm using the classic theme. Because at that point, all I can do is change the background frame or actual background color. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I've created my theme. I've set my theme for my company. Uh, I'm in company XYZ, so let's just go into, um, say, customer maintenance, just so we can see what that looks like. There we go. We've got red highlighted text, red highlighted on my tab. There's my primary buttons down here and my secondary buttons here. You can see how they're different colors. Now, for whatever it's worth, um, you can also set, for a specific user, you can set a theme. If, for my user, if I come into Preferences and I set my theme code to Classic, let's say, all I'm going to see when I go in is classic views. So if I go back to customer maintenance, you'll notice that overrides the theme view that we had been seeing before. Uh, so if, if you set up your themes and assign them to companies and uh, either nobody or somebody specifically isn't seeing what you've set up, it's more than likely because They've got something in here. You want to leave this blank, the, the classic theme to be blank for the users if you want the company to be specifically what controls that. So now you've seen what the screens look like when I launch them. I'll just go in one more time. There's my green and red and blue buttons in my demo theme. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of Sage because at this point um, I'm still seeing the standard Sage screen that you see. Now because I've set up some themes, the next time I go into Sage 100, I should get the new uh, background view for the entire Sage menu and such. And I'm going to go into a little bit of that those options as well. Oh, okay. You know what? I think it's because if I go in here to user maintenance, uh, it's because I had already logged in at least once. I'm going to go with my user to see the demo view as well. Yeah. Let me close out of here.
Okay, that's what I was looking for. Um, the first time I log in after this, I should get a question. Do I want the classic desktop or the new standard? So I'm going to go with the new standard. And you'll see this looks quite a bit different than the Sage 100 of our days past. And this is only available again with Sage 100C. But now my menus look a little bit different. Um, so now I've got my different tasks over here. Uh, my modules are up here. Uh, I can change my user settings. Still a lot of the same things. There's master, console, deferred printing. Uh, but if I go to modules, I can go to company maintenance. Change to accounts payable. The nice thing about this is uh, if I go back to my view menu, I can change some of the backgrounds on this main page. I can set the scaling to be a little bit, this is a medium size, so now if you notice the font got a lot larger here, you can even go to large. People have asked for years and years if we could make the Sage 100 menus larger, uh, and now we can. I can also uh, minimize that. Minimize my status bar. You can set your web content. So what comes up in this screen is uh, whatever you want. It could be your web page. It could be uh, the Sage's web page, that sort of thing. I can now sort my module. I can sort the menus to be alphabetical. Menu tasks to be out alphabetical. So now, since I set everything in alphabetical, now you'll see accounts payable, accounts receivable, bank road. Those are all in alphabetical order. If I turn that off, it goes back to the standard order that you're used to. Uh, I have a favorites bar down here. I can drag and drop things that I, I clicked on that, I didn't mean to. Notice I set that to be large. Everything's much larger here. Um, I can just want to unsort that because that's not what I'm used to. So I can put my favorites over here. Um, let's say I want to go to journal entry. I want that on my favorites. Drag those over so you can make your own menu list of things that you do most often throughout the day. So I just click back to go to modules. Um, going back to view, let's go to medium scaling. I'm going to open general ledger uh, account maintenance. Let's say, oh, you know what? I'm going to go into general journal entry. Trying to stick with modules that just about everybody has. Uh, is that a new source journal? Sure, why not? Um, so now you can see we made it a little bit bigger scaling in the grid. Got to make this a two-sided entry, so go ahead and make that balance. I'll change the scaling to the default just so you can see the difference here. So there is my same journal entry. I'm still getting all my different colors that I set for my theme. So that's the default. Go to medium. 
kind of showing you the difference, that's all. Which is, it's, it's something that I've had clients asking me for for years and years, that the screens are just too small, I just can't read them. Which I understand completely, because as I get older, it's harder and harder for me to see. Uh, but this is then the largest. So those are some of the uh, new features. If you have specific questions or need help setting any of this up, please feel free to give us a call. Um, there should be a slide that comes up after this with uh, our company name and contact information. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.